son, Artemis Fowl. During this unprecedented year when we find ourselves at home with more time to stream than we've ever had before, Disney's decision to forego the theatrical debut of its latest big budget offering in favor of a Disney Plus release seemed like the opportune thing to do. Sadly, Artemis Fowl is not an enjoyable diversion to take your mind off current events, but a lifeless CGI heavy take on a beloved series of sci-fi fantasy novels. All right, save my father, save the world. This forgettable narrative centers on young Artemis Fowl, the son of a criminal mastermind who must rescue his father who's been held for ransom. The MacGuffin in this film is a coveted magical object known as the Aculos, which has the power to open doorways to other universes. Like many of the plot lines throughout the movie, the Aculos is no more than an empty, shiny object that adds very little of substance to the story. One of the film's biggest issues is its pacing, especially whenever there's a new character introduced. Even without having read the novels, it feels like Kenneth Branagh and his team are trying to cram more story than the film's 95-ish minute runtime will allow. Artemis, for example, is supposed to be our extraordinary hero who, we're told many times, is an exceptional person who can accomplish any task, but we never really see him do anything remarkable. Besides a brief encounter with Artemis' therapist where he tries to find out what makes the boy tick, there's very little time spent learning who Artemis is as a character. Another of the film's missed opportunities is the relationship between Artemis and a spirited crime-fighting fairy named Holly Short. Both Holly and Artemis desire to know more about their fathers, but this particular dilemma is never fully explored. It seems like you're supposed to feel a deeper connection between the two, but their storylines are rushed and their bond is never conveyed in the film. These character development shortcomings extend to most of the supporting cast, including Judy Dench's curiously raspy-voiced Commander Root, and even Colin Farrell, who's more of an afterthought by the second half of the film. Dad. There's also Josh Gad, who plays a giant dwarf named Mulch Diggums. Surprisingly, but probably not intentionally, Mulch is the most watchable character in the entire film. Unlike his counterparts, who appear to be taking everything in this fantastical world a bit too seriously, Gad is able to imbue his character with plenty of charm, acting as the film's capable narrator and often welcome comic relief. It's like he's the only person aware of what kind of movie he's actually in. The few times where Artemis Fowl shows some signs of life is during its action set pieces. However, like most of the visual splendors throughout, these sequences never quite raise the stakes for what is an otherwise by-the-numbers adventure. I'm the next criminal mastermind. Disney's Artemis Fowl offers some eye candy when it comes to its thrilling action and special effects, but struggles to develop its characters into memorable individuals. If Disney was hoping to turn Artemis Fowl into its next big franchise, the film is not a good example of things to come. You are not prepared for the truth. For more reviews, check out what we thought of The Lovebirds and Scoob. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.